This morning in America, we have an exclusive sit-down interview with the chief of the Capitol Police. It comes days after what was seen as his first major test, the recent justice for the J6 rally. It ended with just a handful of arrests, no violence at all. Evan Lambert asked Chief Tom Manger, are the Capitol Police in a better place since the deadly insurrection? A mob attacking police, a symbol of democracy desecrated. In the aftermath, the chief of the Capitol Police was forced to resign. And there are questions over whether some officers actually turned against the people they are sworn to protect. There are officers that made mistakes. There are officers that did, um, again, had questionable judgment on some of the things that they did. Tom Manger is the new chief of the U.S. Capitol Police. Despite an internal investigation that says as many as six officers violated procedures, Manger won't say if they'll be fired and says the allegations don't represent officers working with rioters. We don't have a problem with police officers that were not upholding the rule of law, that were um, in cahoots, if you will, with the demonstrators and helping them uh, breach the Capitol. Where's our justice? But some lessons have clearly been learned. When supporters of people jailed for their part in the riot rallied at the Capitol this month, Manger and his force were taking no chances, putting the fence up around the grounds and flooding the area with law enforcement, including heavily armed police in riot gear. We had to ensure that we didn't have a repeat of January 6th. We had to ensure to restore the confidence of the American public, to restore the confidence of the members of Congress. Among those failures laid bare by the insurrection, bad advance intel on extremist groups and their plans, Manger says he's working to fix it. We've got a, a standalone intelligence capability that we didn't have prior to January 6th. We're still plugged into all the other, our, all, all of our federal partners and you know Homeland Security and, and, uh, and the FBI. Now, the threat isn't just around the Capitol. Lindsey Graham, you are a traitor to the country. Members of Congress say they're worried about their safety back Back home in their districts. We're taking a larger role in terms of coordination, uh, coordinating their safety because of the number of threats that are coming in against members of Congress and because of the nature of some of these threats where they're very personal, they're very specific. And the chief says that there are right now not any more plans for any more permanent fencing around the Capitol complex. Adrian? Did he talk at all about the officers who were injured in this uh, insurrection? Because, I mean, again, we talked about those officers who were first questioned for exactly what they did and whether they made the right decisions or made mistakes. But there were a lot of severe injuries as a result of this insurrection. Yeah, Adrian, we know uh, close to 200 officers were injured. We didn't discuss that exactly in this interview, uh, but one of the things, a big point that the chief wanted to make was that they don't have evidence that a large number of officers were actually working with the rioters, just those investigations for the six and their discipline uh, is all still pending right now. Adrian? But he, but he does want body cameras to be in initiated, correct? He says that he personally supports that. So just this week, some lawmakers have called for body cameras, dash cameras for federal police. And right now, the chief tells me he supports it personally. He would not commit, though, to when that might happen for Capitol Police. All right, Evan, thank you. Thank you for that interview.